Hello everybody, this is your boy Penny Dent and today we're going to be doing a video. Uh, before I do this video I'd like to say that I am real sorry that I haven't been doing a video for I think two weeks. The last video was about a class 20 BR Green, which is, I haven't run it yet surprisingly. Uh, I, sh I should really do a running video, but I'm doing work, I'm doing college and there's not enough, like, now I know what other people have like in the real world like it's so difficult to do videos nowadays that I just cannot do anything that I want to do so I think the videos won't be coming like usually like it used to be one once every week but now I think it's only going to be once every two weeks but Christmas is going to be coming up is the 3rd of December we're only 23 days are we 23 days? Oh wait, well, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, we need actually 22 days until Christmas. So, get in there. I know what I'm getting for Christmas because I don't know if ever, anyone else out there does this, but my parents told me that I, w I was... I don't know if anyone actually went. There was a South End show at... Um, I forgot what the... It's like a sports centre and... What they said to me was, buy what you want and they'll pay me back and now will be the Christmas present. But they didn't tell me after uh, after when I came back. And I, I, I said to them, the present that I, I bought, I have actually got the leaflet. So, yes, I could, I could have actually bought myself a locomotive. There was actually two locomotives that I wanted to buy there. But I have to get basically I have to get my own present with my own money, so uh, it was just a bit silly. But I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm not making a whinge about it. But yeah, so uh, enough of with all that. I like to say that thank you for all those people who subscribe to me and keep on subscribing. Now we can start this video. And uh, obviously, as you read from the title, is a like com. Uh, I can't, uh, can't explain the word, like differences between each track. Uh, what I'm videoing is the Pico, um, Pico, Hornby normal uh, track. This is actually p uh, the point uh, because I don't actually, well, saying that, I've only got long pieces of Hornby track and it won't fit on the camera. So I thought, get a small piece of Hornby point and I've got a long piece of well, not a long piece, but a medium-sized Pico point. And this is normal Hornby point. This is a special... I think Pico only do this Code 75 track. So I'm going to show you the differences between each one if you're new to this that hobby. But first of all, let's open this packaging up. As you can see, this cost me £10. I actually didn't buy this from the South End show. None of the stalls had a uh, Code 75 point that I want. That, that was just stupid. All they had was either short ones or long ones. I wanted a medium one, and they never had medium points. And that really hacked me off. So I had to go to my main model shop, which is just about like, half an hour away. Uh, but there's some instructions. And, well, I think it's good that they've showed instructions about this. Because these points... That they are good, but these aren't. Like, if you're an electronic person, you will know what I'm talking about. But to the Hornby point, that is much better than this. I can tell you that now. First of all, uh, the connections. What when you switch points? If you if it's not in properly, like I've had it on some of my other points, which are chucks away, the connections are very bad. Like, so I, actually, I think this is a Pico one, which is not that bad, to be honest. But uh, the Hornby ones are real bad. I would warn everyone out there, Hornby ones are real bad. I would recommend either, I think this is Pico, or um, Backman. Yes, Backman, do do track. I've actually bought uh, a point from a shop which has Backman uh, track. And they're real good. They, they are exactly like the uh, Pico ones. 
So yes, I would, I would recommend buying Backman or Pico. No Hornby, no Hornby. Um, but yeah, the connections on the Hornby's, one, Hornby's ones are very bad. They seem to be very loose when you change them. The Pico one, I think this is uh, Pico one, is very responsive. Like it goes ping. The Hornby one has yes, a sort of like push here. Like it, it won't go fully in. So that's one thing about it. The other thing is this little plastic bit. This is small compared to the Hornby one. I think the Batman one might be a little bit similar to the Hornby one, but the Hornby one is absolutely terrible. I can tell you that now. Uh, this always causes either little locomotives or old fashioned locomotives. Sorry if you can hear that outside, I think my dad's here. Um, it causes the little locomotives or old locomotives to short out basically they just stop working uh, and that's why I recommend because I know that B and Pico do do electric frog uh, co this is actually co called code 100 track electric frog points which means that this bit here is full metal fully metal so there will be no electric shortages but yes um, and I think that's really it about the negatives about the Hornby ones these are, if you're if you're a junior and you buy a starter set you would mostly get this type of track you wouldn't get this sort of track because this is mostly for if you've got old rolling stock and I have I do have a few old rolling stock I don't use no more because I'm getting to the Backman uh, region uh, like the Backman wagons and all that I actually say now I've only got a few Backman wagons not, not not old fashioned I've got a lot of modern ones but no not a lot of old Backman wagons I think I've only got two so uh, I need to start buying some but if you've got real old Triang wagons or the real old Hornby ones, this is a track for you because this is, if you look at the track here, it is much bigger. Just look at it for a moment and then, then you'll see the difference between that and this. And also, it is pretty heavy, it, it, uh, yeah, compared to other pieces of track, the, the, the Pico ones are quite heavy, but heaviness isn't all. The one benefit about some points are that these have electric frog uh, clip. I think they're clips. Sorry, not electric frog. Um, I forgot what they call them. Um, let's, let's just call them uh, track pit, um, track clips. Because as you can see on this track, these don't have some um, them on it. So you have to buy a set. So yeah, um, and I think that's it. And this this isn't realistic track this is a junior set track so it is so robust um very strong shall i say in normal terms like you can bend it you can twist it and it won't break i'm not going to twist it too much because i'm still using this track but real good I've, and the prices on these can range in between a used one, which is like about five pounds, to a brand new one, which I think I've seen the highest of fifteen pounds. So, yes, um, that's the Code One Hundred track. This, as you can see on a box, is a uh, Code Seventy Five track, fine, fine standard. So, first of all, if you want to buy one and you find them in a box and you see loads of points in the box. Get a Code 100 track, probably similar, and put it on either your right or left, and try and get out the ones which feel light. And if it's light, that must mean that is a Code 75 track, because this is a small track, but I can feel the difference. This, this on my right is lighter than this. And, well, it is so good, as you can see, the track doesn't look as big, well the rails don't look as big as the ones on the Code 100 track, the sand track, 
and the sleepers feel a lot better. And obviously this is Pico, and look at that, the connection, bang. Connection, bang. Easily. Um, this has a electric fog connection. There is one bad side to this. You need insulated frog, why do I say frog? Um, insulated rail clips, or rail joiners, shall I say. That's a word, that's it, rail joiners. Which is, which is uh, just some plastic bits, like the male ones they've got, but only plastic, clear ones. And I think, comment below if I'm wrong, you put them in the inside of the tracks. Because the, these two here, one's positive, one's negative. And if they are still connected to the other piece of the track, it will short circuit the track. That's it. It, w it will just go... It won't break the track, or it won't break your controller. It'll just won't work properly. So if uh, if if someone out there has one of these tracks, please comment below if I'm right. That is only the inside. But obviously, you got the instructions here, and these are very helpful. Oh, pardon me. Uh, but I understand that Model Railway did a DVD on the Code 75 track. I did have it, but I think uh, since my mum ties up my room, I think she chucks it in the bin, which is just, oh, I'm, I'm peed off because I really want to know about these tracks. But yes, um, but obviously that, the electric frog uh, here is, means that the little locomotives, aka the O. 4-0 like muscles will just go ooh, past it on these well especially the horny ones they go ooh, stop and you have to either push it or give it full belt and if it's full belt they go just gone and probably gone into the distance in the sunset <laughs> um, but yes and these are a lot more realistic these track so if you're doing realism layout buy this instead of this. I should admit that I have actually bought it cheap for £10. Uh, usually they are rate retails at around £15 to £20. It depends on what track you buy. I know you can get crossovers. You can either have a normal crossover where it just goes across or you can have a crossover point which is basically uh, two wire points on each end. Uh, that's, that's all I know. But they they retails around, I think about twenty to thirty pound mark. So yes, but obviously as you've seen, I bought this pretty cheap. I should have actually bought all my points from there because I bought the the other Coast seventy five track that I bought up there. I think I've done a video called uh, Treasure Trove. Uh, I bought I think I bought them for like eleven pounds something. So I should have really bought track from my local motor railway sh shop but I think I didn't have any at that time so yes so uh, if, you, if you're doing if you're a junior I would recommend the code 100 track if you are an, an adult but you're starting still do the code 100 track but if you're an adult and you're starting a realistic track or, or layout sorry codes were 75 all the way. Although it's a bit expensive than this, just look on eBay and they'll probably retail around £10 like this. I'd rather buy this than this. If if I knew that this was more realistic and I know how to use it, I would have bought more of these than these. These would be gone. <laughs> so yes, that's my verdict right there. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and uh, please still look at my channel, I might upload another video in two weeks, so I might be, maybe next week to say sorry. But yes, I am going to be doing another video, maybe a review or a layout update. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the near future. Bye.